Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the error message 0xc000225 on Windows 10 so it refuses to boot and again, your PC needs to be repaired error. The application or operating system cannot be loaded because a required file is missing or contains errors. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first thing we got to do is get to the command prompt utility that's either built into the troubleshooting recovery options or you have to have a bootable USB DVD or CD. Well, CD isn't probably big enough to have the Windows installation on, but basically just going through the Windows 10 media creation utility provided from Microsoft, burn a copy of the Windows 10 ISO to a CD or DVD, and then boot your computer from it. So we want to get to the recovery options one way or another and there's varying levels of which you might need it or might not. It's definitely a little time consuming in order to actually download it. So if you can just do a hard power off three times in a row, hopefully you guys can get to a recovery screen that says it looks like Windows didn't load correctly. However, if not, you can check out other videos on my channel that I walk through how to create a media creation utility. It's very straightforward. Instead of clicking install Windows or install now once you're going through the Windows install in quotation marks process, you would just left click on repair my computer in the bottom left corner of the dialog window. It's like the first or I should say the second prompt after you decide your language inputs, just left click on next. And then where it says install now, that button, just left click on the bottom left corner of that screen that says repair now. Just repair your computer from that. So enough with that, we're going to go underneath C advanced repair options given my circumstance here. And then I'm going to go underneath troubleshoot. So if you're going from the CD, this should look very familiar as well once you get to this point. And then again underneath troubleshoot, we're going to go underneath advanced options. Left click on command prompt, use the command prompt for advanced troubleshooting. So I'm going to left click on that one time. I'm going to select my account here, so MD Tech. I'm going to type in my computer password. realize I didn't have a password on here. So now that we're in here, you want to type in boot rack. So B-O-O-T-R-E-C space forward slash fix MBR. Exactly, it appears on my screen. So boot rack space forward slash fix MBR. Then you want to hit enter. You should see the operation completed successfully. Once you're done doing that, you want to go ahead and type in BCD edit. So exactly it appears on my screen, so BCD edit, all one word, space forward slash export, attach to that forward slash, and then you want to do a space, and then whatever your drive that Windows is installed on, so in my case it's my C drive, and then a colon. So if you're having problems with a C drive, try a D drive. I'm going to figure it out right here. It might not actually work on my C drive, so I'm going to have to retype it. But just to give you guys an idea, it might not be C. So again, C colon, and then a backslash, B, C, D, backup. Exactly appears on my screen here, and please take note of where the spaces are. And then you want to hit enter on your keyboard. So you can see that it is on my C drive and the operation completed successfully. If it says that it could not find this destination, make sure your spelling is correct and make sure the drive letter is correct as well. So you might have to try a different letter, so D, E, F, G. Just want to make sure it has Windows on it. So it should say the operation completed successfully if you did that properly. And now you want to type in ATT, RIB, space, and then again, whatever, since my C drive worked up here, we're going to do C again. So I'm going to do C colon, which is just one dot on top of another dot, it should be right underneath the P key on your keyboard. And then you want to type a backslash, so backslash, boot, backslash, BCD, and then I'm going to do a space, minus sign H, and then I'm going to do another space, minus sign R, another space, minus sign S, and then I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard. Should run that successfully. Don't expect any response back from the command prompt here. If you type something incorrectly, it will stop you, so just keep that in mind. And now that you've done that, you want to type in REN, space, and now I'm again the C drive for me, colon, 
backslash boot backslash bcd space bcd dot old so again ren space c colon backslash boot backslash bcd space bcd dot old or period old some people call it dot some people call it a period it's dot old that's what I refer to it as and I'm gonna hit enter once you're done with that again don't expect any response from the command prompt here and you want to type in boot rec so b o o t r e c space forward slash rebuild b c d exactly it appears on my screen so again boot rec so b o o t r e c space forward slash rebuild r e b u i l d b c d all one word this last part here then you want to hit enter should say scanning all disks for Windows installations. Please wait, this may take a while. So just be patient here. Might take a moment, like it says. Hopefully, it should say total identified Windows installations one. And then it will say add installation to the boot list. Type Y. So basically, this tutorial is covering if there is a Windows installation here. I would say it probably works for about 75 to 80 percent of the cases that I run into this issue. If there are other issues, I do have other videos on my channel. But again, for about three quarters of you to 80 percent or higher, it's really hard to judge with YouTube. You know how many people actually are benefited from it because you always get the people that doesn't work you usually skew it towards a more negative light. So it probably is even higher than that. So getting back to this, it's going to say add installation to the boot list. I'm going to type Y. I'm going to hit enter here. Should see the operation completed successfully, which is good. Type in exit at the end here. So just exit. That's it. Hit enter. And now I would suggest exit and continue to Windows 10. Hopefully that has resolved your issue, guys. It should be pretty straightforward from here. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. And you know what, we will let this computer boot up here for a moment. You know, there might be Windows updates that are pending as well, just to show you guys that Windows is booting up. Should be pretty clear from here. If we do actually have Windows updates that are going to be installed, you guys get the point that it should have resolved the issue up to that point, and I don't want to sit through... 30 minutes of waiting for updates to finish installing, but I will let this video run for a couple more moments here.
So we are on the Windows Update stage here, like I said. So I think I'm going to wrap up the tutorial here. I do hope I was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.